The NBA playoffs are wrapping up after a hectic month, but we have the Dallas Mavericks facing off against the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals. The Mavericks have had a difficult path to the playoffs, beating the Kawhi-led Clippers, dominating the number one seed in SGA-led OKC Thunder, and demolishing the Minnesota Timberwolves in five. Meanwhile, the Celtics had the opposite kind of path, beating the Miami Heat who were without Jimmy Butler, the Cleveland Cavaliers who were missing Donovan Mitchell halfway into the series, and the Indiana Pacers who also lost Tyrese Halliburton halfway into their series. So in honor of the Celtics having the easiest road to the NBA Finals, I'll go over four other teams that had an easy path to the NBA Finals. Starting this video off, we got a team labeled as one of the top 10 NBA teams of all time, the 1986-87 Los Angeles Lakers. If you don't know about the Showtime Lakers, then you must be living under a rock. Led by one of the greatest point guards of all time, Magic Johnson, and one of the greatest centers of all time in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, this Lakers dynasty was constantly in title contention. The Lakers finished with the best record in the league at 65-17 and in the 1986-87 season. This team was great, but their road to the finals was very iffy. In their first round matchup, they faced the 37-45 Denver Nuggets team, who were led by Alex Ingram and Pat Lever. That Nuggets team was decent, but we would never see a 37-45 team make the playoffs in this day and age. And that's the reason why they got swept in three games. Then the Lakers went against the 42-40 Golden State Warriors. Led by Chris Mullen, the Golden State Warriors didn't have no one else to go to outside of Mullen. And when you go against a team that has four Hall of Famers, it's almost impossible to beat them. That's why the Lakers won in five. Then the Lakers faced possibly the easiest conference finals matchup ever, the Seattle Supersonics. The Supersonics finished with an under 500 record being 39-43 and 43 and led by Dale Ellis and Tom Chambers. The Lakers proved the Supersonics weren't meant to be in the Western Conference Finals and swept them in four. So this Lakers team faced two teams that finished the regular season under 500 and faced another team that barely finished above 500 on their way to the NBA Finals. I'm not saying this team is not great because they did end up beating the great Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals who had five Hall of Famers, but they sure as hell had an easy way to get there putting them on this list of teams that had an easy road to the final. The next team on this list is the 1998-99 San Antonio Spurs. With the NBA season being a lockout season due to the MBPA wanting changes to the salary cap system, teams only played 50 games this season. The season finally started on February 5th and the Spurs started off 6-8. Being led by second year star Tim Duncan and fellow All-Pro center David Robinson, the Spurs won 31 of their next 36 games to finish with the best record in the league. The Spurs first faced off against the 25-25 Minnesota Timberwolves, led by Kevin Garnett. But outside of Garnett, this Timberwolves team was pretty bad, having their second highest leading scorer be Joe Smith, averaging less than 14 points a game. The Spurs breezed by them in four games, and were set to face the Los Angeles Lakers with Kobe and Shaq. You're saying to yourself, the Kobe and Shaq Lakers? How does this make the Spurs have an easy road to the finals? But people don't understand the Kobe and Shaq Lakers were together for 8 years and were unsuccessful those first couple years. It was a bad Lakers team outside of that duo and they didn't have Phil Jackson at this point, going through 3 coaches in a matter of 50 games. The Spurs swept the Lakers in 4 and were set to face the Trailblazers in the Western Conference Finals. The 1999 Trailblazers were a very disappointing team, having their leading scorer Isaiah Ryder average 13.9 points with other players like Rashid Wallace and Arvita Sabonis helping this team to the conference finals. The Spurs did what they did to every team they saw in the playoffs, and got rid of the Trailblazers easily, sweeping them in four. But that's not it for the 1998-99 Spurs. Not only did they have an easy road to the finals, they also got probably the worst team to ever make a finals appearance. They went up against the New York Knicks, who finished with a 27-23 record and were 8th in the Eastern Conference. The Knicks were without Patrick Ewing who nursed an Achilles injury in the third round that would keep him out of the NBA Finals. Of course, the Spurs dominated the Knicks to win their first NBA championship. So let's recap. The Spurs faced a mediocre Timberwolves team in the first round, a Lakers team who had no sense of direction in the second round, a very disappointing Trailblazers team in the third round, and an 8th seed without their best player in the 1999 NBA Finals. This team had a cakewalk through the playoffs, making them a surefire team to make this list of easiest roads to the NBA Finals. The third team on this list is the 2012-2013 Miami Heat. The 2013 Heat, 
also known as the Heatles during their Big 3 era of LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh, were on their way to repeat as NBA champions. They finished with a 66-16 and record, including a 27-game winning streak in the season, the second longest win streak at the time. A team that consisted of at least four Hall of Famers, the Heat started the playoffs against the 38-44 and Milwaukee Bucks, a team led by Monte Ellis. These pre-Giannis Antetokounmpo Bucks were terrible teams, having guys like Ellis, Brandon Jennings, and Ersan Ilyasova leading this team. The Heat made light work of the Bucks, sweeping them in four. Then they faced the 45-37 and Chicago Bulls without Derrick Rose, who was still recovering from his ACL injury the season before. The Heat beat them in five, getting revenge for the Bulls snapping their 27-game win streak in the regular season, and it was set to face the Pacers in the conference finals. A Pacers team with a young Paul George, all-stars Danny Granger and Roy Hibbert, and solid role players, this team was not to scoff at. But luck would be on the Heat side, and Danny Granger would suffer an injury and not play in the series. The Heat would still be taken to 7 games, but beat the Pacers to go to the 2013 NBA Finals. They'd win their second championship in a row against the San Antonio Spurs, but their road to the Finals was very easy. Going against a terrible Bucks team, the Bulls without their MVP, and the Pacers without their best player, injuries had a big part in making this Heat team a part of the teams with the least difficult roads to the Finals. The last team on this list is a very recent team, being the 2020-21 Phoenix Suns. The NBA had just finished their bubble season at Disney World due to COVID, and were set to play games back in their original arena this season. The NBA season was only 72 games this year, and the Suns were one of the best teams in the league, finishing second with a 51-21 record. Having the best shooting guard in the league at the time in Devin Booker, combined with all-time great point guard Chris Paul and improving big man DeAndre Ayton, this Suns team was looking good to go in the playoffs. Their first matchup was against the defending champs, Los Angeles Lakers. I know what you guys are thinking. When these teams play against the Lakers in the playoffs, it can't possibly be an easy road to the finals. But when the Lakers have their best player hurt midway in the series, then it's an easy road. The series was tied 2-2, then Anthony Davis gets hurt letting the Suns run with the next two games and advancing to the next round. Then the Suns go to face the Denver Nuggets, who have the league MVP Nikola Jokic. Again, I know you're saying you can't have an easy road when you face the MVP of the league. Well, when one of the Nuggets' main contributors to their playoff success is hurt, you can say they have an easy round. Jamal Murray tore his ACL that season, and we've all seen that he's very critical for the Nuggets' playoff success. So the Suns sweep. Then they make the conference finals against the Clippers. But once again, their opponent has a key player in their lineup out for the series due to injury. Kawhi Leonard didn't play in the conference finals, letting the Suns breeze by the Clippers in six, leading them to the NBA Finals. So due to injuries in all of their matchups up to the NBA Finals, the Suns have a walk in the park in each round, putting them on this list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Just because these teams are on this list doesn't mean they're a bad team at all, just like the Boston Celtics are great this year. All that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.